Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 31 of We Happy Few. So, we are Ollie. We just escaped from our pretty cool hideout, so I guess we need to look for a new one now. Also, there are two new quests that we need to follow for the storyline. The first is that we get some more um, glucose syringes for, I guess, it's all his diabetes. And the other one is to go to Canary House, where the wastrels captured one of the army guys. I don't know, the problem is with the honey, it's hard to harvest it without having the proper clothing, so I don't know if we can do this right away. The other thing is I don't know how long we can last without it. I think we have one left now, and then we would need some new, but I don't know how we should harvest honey without uh, the suit that prote that's protecting us. So also we need three empty syringes, which we already know if you look for it, if you look for especially those, you won't find them. So I suppose we should make our way to Cannery House first. Maybe we'll find something there. That's a good start. Also, we have a diary entry in which Oliver learns a grave and terrible secret. So this is not like a diary that Ollie writes himself. It's like in the third, it's from a third person view and like more like a real story in a book. It had been quite some time since Oliver had entertained the guests. There were always the visitors that came in the night and attempted to make off with Oliver's belongings and occasionally his life, but not a proper guest. So it was a welcome surprise when Oliver's old neighbor, Little Artie, came for a visit. Oliver had not seen Little Artie since that man began infesting all the televisions of Hamlin Village. Once upon a time, Little, Art Little Artie had been the weedy boy next door. He'd had his nose in a book practically since he'd been born until Sally Boyle came to live with him and from then on he was following Sally around like a pub. But little Artie had grown up. He was now very tall, if still rather stringy, and so the two boys quickly decided it was high time to go on an adventure. I have not been to the military camp in some time, said Oliver, and they have many good things to eat there. Don't mind if I do, said no longer little Artie, who talked like that. So off they went, and while the antique gentleman in the military camp huffed and puffed after Artie with their bayonets, Oliver brought home many tasty treats. But Artie had brought back a secret. It weighed no more than a piece of paper. Indeed, it was a piece of paper, but it weighed heavy on Oliver's heart. For Oliver and the other townsfolk of Wellington Wells had spent the long, hungry years of the occupation considering the many tanks the Germans had in their military camp. These same tanks had rolled across Britain, Britain like monstrous fire-breathing tortoises, eating up all of Britain's finest boys who had opposed them. When the Germans demanded their cursed tribute, the townsfolk considered the tanks and gave up their children. But the tanks in the military camp were not the tanks of steel and fire. Artie had brought Br back a strip of newspaper from one of the tanks. He told Ollie that the tanks the Germans had left behind were made of paper and glue. And so the townsfolk could have risen up against the Germans, and they could have protected their children. They could have protected you, O oh best beloved. But had Oliver known this grave and terrible secret? He did not know. For, you see, Oliver's memory was riddled with holes, like a church made of cheese whose congregation was mice. And he might indeed have known, for the Germans would have needed quite a lot of paper to make dozens of papier-mâché tanks. And so they would have asked the general, and who had been the general's aide de camp? but Oliver himself. Oliver did not like to believe that he might have known such a secret. Indeed, if had known such a secret, he would never forgive himself. For why would he not have told the townsfolk and risen up with them against the Germans and rescued the children, including the best beloved? And so Oliver set off to ask the general what had happened. Oh well. So, this will be... Interesting, so Liebchen is already, we already know, know that one. Yeah, we already know that one from Arthur. Uh, so, quest one. So I'm gonna activate this one first. Because I would like to harvest the honey, but I think it will kill us. Yeah. Yeah, it's no use. We won't. Hey! Oh, great. Oh, 
Okay, so this is where we need to go. Oh, something to eat. Oh, I'm sorry, Ollie. Oh, okay, so when we're Ollie, we can't harvest the foxglove, so this must have been something that only Sally can do. So strange, people see us so fast, it seems. Well, I guess Ollie isn't the right one to sneak. got kidnapped oh okay oh we're already there so I guess it's the guy hello can we just get in there so we need to go I'm coming to get you is that only Starkey never mind then you don't want me to rescue you you'll only make it worse Somehow. Sorry, laddie. I need your help. <laughs> oh well, Ollie is really not the popular type, even in rescuing. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the commotion. Oh, hello there. So, what else is there? It seems like this was the only guy in the house, so... Oh, nope. It's not. No man's voice contact oh, with the enemy. really takes it out of your shoulders. So, what do you have with you? Do you have some honey? Nope. Hi there. Still don't want me to help you? Well, don't get shirty with me. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserted? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The Jerrys are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the General, but they won't let me cross the bridge. Well, they won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. Oh, well. Is there something interesting see if in I here? Don't. I suppose not, because it's a prison cell, so... That's it, on the double, soldier! Whoever said we passed this way but once? Okay, so, this is not a book that I can pick up. I should heal myself again. So, we haven't searched this guy. Oh, oh he has a Jimmy bar, okay. Oh, grenades, that's good. What's over here? There's no one here as well. What's on your stove? That's just charcoal and... Ah, uh, I don't need a rotten onion. Ah, also not a frying pan. Oh, saltpeter. Although we can't really use this as Ollie because we're, we suck now at chemistry. Although maybe Soul Peter is used for something else. Whoops. Well then come here. Well lad, this is what we trained for. I think it's really cool that um, in all those chapters it's a different approach to to the game um, tactics. I mean, with Arthur it was at first like you can do anything. You can do chemistry, you can do weapons, you can 
I don't know, you can be sneaky and all, but now as Ollie, it mm, doesn't seem to be that possible. Sally was sneaky. Sally was very um, sneaky but couldn't fight as well. And she couldn't craft anything on a workbench, but still she could do chemistry. And now Ollie can do, can't do chemistry, and but he can craft things on a workbench. So, we have 27 points available. So... Okay, so his base traits are must use syringes to regulate his blood sugar. He can't run fast. He can choke out unaware people, including bobbies and doctors, can carry more weight. Oh, okay, so we can do that from the start. We can choke out bobbies and doctors. We couldn't do that with Arthur. People don't like Ollie for excellent reasons. I wonder what he did that everyone hates him, that everyone knows him. Wellies with red hats will automatically aggro upon spotting Ollie. Even the inhabitants will, have, will wear hats now. Mechanically adept, chemically hopeless. Okay. So what can we learn? You can sprint faster and longer. That would be a good start. You get more benefits from being well fed. Hydrated or rested plants yet it's basically the same with the same that sally had right it was different with arthur yeah because arthur's wasn't survival it was combat which was here so what super duper does he have throw things farther and do more damage okay people you knock down may stay down Weapons wear out more slowly, and attack faster, move faster when blocking. Blocking and attacking cost less stamina, increased chance defeated opponent will flee. Okay, so those actually, we know the combat tree from Arthur, and we know the survival tree from Sally. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go first with buff. Maybe I'm gonna take the loaded up punches. Okay, maybe that will work too. Some weapons now cause damage to subsequent targets. It's very sad that there's no um, perk that increases our blood sugar level or just gives more time to drain it. Hmm, so we have 21 more points to spend. Okay, uh, maybe I'm gonna go with this one. So we can buy this one, do more damage hitting people. We still have 13 to go, so maybe I'm going to increase our health as well. One more time. I don't know, I guess we will also need more healing. We will also need healing bomb with Ollie because I hope we can still craft this, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so maybe I'm going to take this one as well. Okay, get better prices. So I don't know, will we need to go shopping that often? Carry more weight. Oh, and also the faster sprinting. So we're all done now. And now we're going to, yeah, we're going to the camp now. So I wonder, it says that people don't like Ollie. Does this also um, apply to the wastrels that go around here? Well, they get angry real fast. Hmm. Is this a safe house? Is this our safe house again? I think I'm gonna go in there now. Yes. Okay, so this house is again on a different location. So, we're gonna take this one. Always good to fast travel. Blueprint for a shock grenade. Okay, and for boxing shoes. So. What can we craft? Not a lot, I guess. All these grog. Who needs medications when you have grog? It cures everything, even the plague. Removes symptoms of plague. Night blooming nonsuch. Antiseptic honey. Uh, okay. 
synchronous syringe. This is just the other one. Oh, this is the right one. So I don't know if this is that healthy injecting yourself with honey. I guess this is deadly. So what's in this? Oh, uh, charcoal, rotten mushroom. No, I wouldn't inject myself with any of this. But well, so what else is there to do? Oh, we could do a padded suit ourselves. We just need sewing kits. Just need two sewing kits, coarse linen and cloth scrubs. Oh, that's too bad. I think sewer, sewing kits are only found in the city, I guess. So, what's this? Run like the wind and don't... Oh, yeah, those are the ones that we found with Sally as well. So, fine linen, leather scraps, a sewing kit as well, and a shredded raincoat. Oh, well. That's now, a lot tinkering, to collect. That's a thing I know. So, let's leave again. At least we found a hatch. So, now we have something to fast travel. I think I'm still gonna use the window to climb through. Because... So... Okay, so that's a long way to go. Oh, there's another shelter over there. Well done. I guess we're gonna move past it. There are so many people here, I don't remember it being this crowded. Oh, it's the train station. I'm gonna disappear real quick. Oh, this is this train station. <laughs> oh well, although I think we're a little bit better prepared as Ollie now. Wait a second, there are no... There are no downers in here? Huh? Okay. Now we can come back here from any other hatch and we don't, I don't have really to eat understand any no. English. I'm a little bit confused. But I saw a memory back there. Someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they? Hmm, okay. So I suppose this was still, um... Imagination, Margaret. So, oh, rubber cats. Oh, wow, I think that must look really strange on Ollie. So I guess this was still, um... Yeah, the Margaret he imagines, because I think Uncle Jack must have... Um, started after them. Oh, the winning argument on the better mouse trap. What do we need mouses for? Ah, uh, not mouses, mice. Hmm. So I guess it seems that Ollie has a little bit of anger bottled up for Uncle Jack. I wonder. What happened? But I assume we will figure it out soon. <laughs> Why are there so many people here right now? Because they hate us, I guess. You hear that? Okay, we are definitely not sneaky. It's time! <laughs> what sunny weird? You don't want my blood on your head! Leave us alone, you... Uh. 
So I guess people hate me now because I carry a weapon, but... They would have hated me anyway. Ouch! I'm just picking flowers here. I'm not killing ever anyone. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill ya. So what did Ollie do? To make everyone so angry. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. Oh well. I don't know. Maybe this will be a part. So... I guess we won't get in here. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Well, Soldiers found drunk on duty will be given 30 days in the brig. Soldiers found trafficking in contraband will be court martialed okay. and dishonorably discharged from the home army. So I guess this is the one that we... Is this the shelter that we accessed with Sally as well? I guess it must be. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. Oh well, Margaret is so smart. What would Ollie do without her? So why are people there? There shouldn't be any people. Hmm. Maybe I'm just gonna sneak. What are you doing? I wanna choke you out. I wanted to do it the sneaky way, but you are just... Oh, seriously. I have to kill you now. Oh well, Ollie is definitely not in good shape. Go forth and sin no more. Ollie is definitely not in good shape. Oh, <laughs> you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him! What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right! You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus! Oh, wait. I see this trap. So can I choke him out now?
Why can't I choke people out? Why? Oh no, so I guess I need my syringe again soon. Thank God you're here! I think they draw to the plastic! Wait! Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Powell. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Starkey? See you on the wicked island! Oops! There you go! I killed him as well. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Don't make a habit of that, right? Sorry. I didn't mean to. Although I guess ultimately I would have had to kill him. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Beedham Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day? Studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? So, oh. I wouldn't have needed to go there. Well, I'm really worried now about this whole syringe business because this is our second, this is our last one and we still don't have any honey. And I still don't think that we can craft a padded suit. Also, I don't really understand why all those soldiers now suddenly have the plague outside. Because I think one day before we were here with Arthur and they were normal. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. I think we should also make some distance. Now well, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. I hope that works. Oops. Oh, that was trapped too. So. Um. Oh, there's a ladder. Was this here before with Sally? It's a Although we didn't business. really need it. You step onto the tracks, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing whether you might be swept off to. Is there a blueprint? Oh, yeah. Here. Dick the Naughty Duck. Okay. Oh, a memory as well. Aren't you supposed to be at work? I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait, how can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I, I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? Okay, so I'll quit the military. Oh, an empty syringe. Uh, so I'll equip the military after the whole train incident, I guess. So because he had to send his own daughter away. Oh well. So where do we end up ah, now? Memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Well, they don't like us anywhere, so... Okay, so now we need to sneak into his office. 
Well, sneaking is something that Ollie can't do very well, so I suppose that won't work. Oh, here are flowers. Attention all ah, the here we are. So this is where we had to go with Arthur. Play Happy Hamlet at 8 p.m. in the mess hall. All are invited. So no do we have something to throw Hamlet. to no confuse them? Ah, oh, he doesn't look anyway. Oh, that wasn't here before. Or maybe it was. I think we never checked that path out. So I hope there's no one here. Oh, wait. We forgot a document here once and it's still here. Yes. Oh, it's a poem. The rebels in Flanders Field, the poppies wilt, they've heard about poor England's guild. Our captain said it wouldn't do the f to fire on his men so true. Their duty bound them to rebel, but now we're all bound straight for hell. The Germans had the guilty men, at first we would not turn on them. Then ready you to meet your god, for none live but the firing squad. The Germans called for volunteers, and so we gave in to our fears, and longing for our homes and wives, we shot the rebels to survive. The Germans said it was for the best, for dealing with this sad unrest, they pinned bronze eagles on their chest. So, I'm not sure, but is this referring to... Just Ooh. pretend it is beef. Hello, dear. Donald! Ollie! What possessed you to come here? Here, I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Oh, we have one friend left. I hope we don't kill him accidentally. Oops. So why are they just standing there? I guess we have to throw some bricks. Our th our bricks. Who goes Ooh. there? Oh, great. Very good, sir. Day okay. for it, sir. Right on, sir. Hmm. What's that? Are glass bottles more effective to throw? Because they make more noise. Attention, all personnel. Soldiers found drunk on duty will be Who goes there? The no bridge. one. Soldiers found trafficking in contraband. Nothing going on here. Just go over there. Who's there? Hey. Who goes there? I was hiding. We beat you once. We'll beat you. No, you won't beat me. Go back to Germany, you swine! Everyone knows me here, so I guess you must do so. And Saint George! <laughs> so you're the weakest. We'll you can die first. Reason. Oh, I'm it's almost dead again. It's finally Ouch. stuck! For England! And Saint George! Well, so much for sneaking, I guess. They're here! They're back! For England! And St. George! Oh, I come back for another beating! We beat you once, we'll beat you Let's again! Find any plague inside the I'm gonna beat you again. Oh, oh, stuck. Yeah, right. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Well, yeah, I guess we already have a lot of ghosts who would follow us. Oh, them again. So, I think we need some more glass. 
I don't know why suddenly I wasn't concealed anymore. I, oh, we don't have any more glass bottles. Hmm. I wouldn't say that around the Sarge. We have a lot of enhanced rocks, although I don't know. Are they more of a weapon or are they more of a distraction? We don't have... Oh yes, we have a brick. So, I guess I'm going in the back door again, so I think I want to lead them this way. Go look for it. That Who's wasn't there? even the direction. Why can't you just walk there? Attention all personnel. It is time to paint the tanks again. If your feet are sore from marching all day, take a break and join the paint. Although, maybe... I'm just gonna drink some tea first. Okay. Oh, I also have a stamina boost now. Well, I think I'm going to throw a grenade. Ooh. Well, that triggered an alarm, but they didn't see us. Good. So, it caused a distraction. Hey there, Margaret. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Oh, whoa, this guy's name really is Cheeseman? Okay. Um, well, but now we triggered the alarm. We didn't even get into the general office. So how did, okay. So everyone is on alarm right now. We are concealed, but I guess it should fade soon. So where do we have to go anyway? Where are the latrines here? Okay. So. Oh, it's back there. Oh well, then I'll just go back around here. Hmm. Oh well. Will they see me if I go this way? No. They won't. So, do I just have to kill him now, or...? Hey, there. Oh, I can do this. Oh, struggle, you'll hurt your neck. Now I can do this. Oops! That was the wrong direction. It's okay. He just fell asleep for a little while. Hey. Oh, okay. I, I automatically took the key. It's supposed to itch. So, okay, I guess... We can enter now. Although, there was an open window to the office all the time. To allow what? time to repair the mannequin, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. Oh wait, no, that's not the general's office. But first aid kits are always good. Okay. Oh, fine linen, we need to add. Wait, I didn't want that. I wanted to search the desk. There are lots of books to collect, as Oli. Hmm. Oh well. Nope. At 
Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. Oh, sewing kit. Nice. One more to go. Oh, can we pick this one too? Yes. Don't know how we got so many lockpicks. Maybe we already had them. There is a lot to find here. So, where was the general's office now again? Oh, we're... Ah, I know where we are. Okay, I think we're going out the back again. Okay, this is the office. Whoops! <laughs> so the tanks were fake. The German tanks in the camp. Paper mashing! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost at Christmas pass. Before the train, tell him. In 1946. Before they took the children. I know when they took the children, I. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Wait, didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Huh? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. Better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Oh well. Okay. Um. So the general still isn't the nicest guy, and apparently he did know about the paper mache tanks. Salute it. If they don't move. Put it away. If you can't move it, put camo there. <sighs> oh, wow. So I wonder. So again, we have to visit Sally. Although. Hmm. This happened before she visited. No, that happened before Donald. she. Ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I eh? Open. Thanks, buddy. Do you remember my meat pounder that I lent you two years ago and you lost it smashing some televisions? That 
That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor! Now, you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let us say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these stark in that cart, are ya? I didn't think it fit. <laughs> not unless Sorry, I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap, all off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boy's dinner. Or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the General will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh well, we're already low on blood sugar again. Um, so do we have something? Oh, maybe stew will do a lot. Ah, okay, stew is a good thing. Maybe victory meat isn't that healthy. Oh well, um, that was interesting and that was confusing. So the general knew and apparently Ollie knew as well one year ago and then Sally helped him forget and... So maybe that's why he feels that his memory is all full of holes because he remembers every year and every year he returns to have it erased. I'm really confused. But this is exactly what I was fearing that Ollie knew somehow. Because apparently he knew that uh, the Germans required so much glue and um, newspapers. Although I guess back in the days would that have really been such a cause for suspicion? I mean, building paper mache tanks isn't like the first that would come to mind. So, I guess the next thing to do is to enter Mrs. Bing's home. So, what else is there to do? Yeah, enter Mrs. Bing's estate. But... In which Oliver gets horrible news. Oh, best beloved, the general was not an easy man to see. He lived in a military camp far from Oliver's home, across the waste land of Garden District, which was filled with hungry lunatics called wastrels. Fortunately, Oliver had lived a long time in the Garden District. It had never been an easy place to live. It was only easier than seeing that man on every television, everywhere you looked, as you did in the village of Hamelin. But he knew how to camp out. He'd trained for it before the war. He knew how to move at night without being seen, and he knew the streets of the Garden District as if they were the streets of his hometown of Aberdeen. But these days a dark cloud was spread out across the Garden District like a body laid out for a wake. There were more wastrels than ever before, and they were hungrier than ever before and more desperate like wolves in a bad winter. A poisonous fog rose every night from the river and made even empty streets unsafe. The general was burrowed deep in his military camp and surrounded by men who had once been soldiers and pretended they still were and longed to be so again. But when he was face to face with the general, all, general, Oliver's troubles had just begun. Sir Robert was not as pleased to see Oliver as Oliver was to see him. Nor was he pleased to hear about the fake tanks. Did you know? Oliver asked. Don't be ridiculous, said Sir Robert, who was haughty. Of course I knew, said Sir Robert, and you typed up all my letters. They needed quite a lot of newspaper, don't you remember? Oliver did not remember, but Oliver knew the General's many quirks, and the General was using a particularly sharp tone of voice that he only used when he was telling the truth. 
Oliver's heart sank through the floor, which made his head dizzy. For now, O oh best beloved, Oliver did not know what to do. It seems he had told a very big lie to all the people of Wellington Wells, or if he had not, he had neglected to tell a very important truth, and because of deceit, the Germans had murdered you, O oh best beloved. Lies must be untangled. It is easy to untangle a lie when it is freshly born, but as it ages, it becomes knotted up in the fabric of the world. Then, like the Gordian knot that puzzled the great Alexander, they must be cut. He must, he resolved, tell the people the truth. But who would believe Oliver, who had become a stranger to all his old friends? He looked like a wastrel, for all they would know, he was a wastrel. Oliver, never need Oliver needed to find someone else whom the people would believe, a very important someone. Sir Robert, though important, was not the king of Wellington Wells. Ever since the Germans had hanged the mayor a few days after their arrival, the town had been ruled by an executive committee operating in the shadowy corridors of City Hall. Surely they could tell the people. They would be even harder to get in to see than the general, but the people had to know the truth, and if Oliver did not convince them, how could he ever make it up to you, O oh best beloved? So Oliver set off to see them to Miss Victoria Bing, who, he hoped, could introduce him to executive committee in City Hall. If an adventure is a series of dangers recounted from safety, then, if all went well, it might be the greatest adventure of his life. I guess, with all the wastrels hating us, people in the city won't like us anymore either. But... I guess, in the next episode, we're going to make our way into... the city. Hopefully not get killed by a mob. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.